Hey everyone, I'm Olivia for Signal by Sony, and today we have Kenta back in the studio. Kenta, always great to have you. Thank you very much. The bearer of the best news. All the time. Right? <laughs> so today we have uh, some new cameras. Yes, very exciting cameras. So we're now introducing the Alpha 7R that okay. we have right here, and also the Alpha 7 here. As you can tell, the, the number one feature of this camera, it's E-mount, mm -hmm. N-E-X E-mount, but it's, uh, it's a full frame uh, image sensor. Right. So I have an NEX 5T here, but you can see the size difference between an APS-C size sensor mm -hmm. and a full frame sensor. Um, so we have two variants. Um, okay. The first one, the Alpha 7R, this is a 36 megapixel image sensor with no low pass filter. Okay. But um, without the low pass filter, you get the ultimate resolution. So okay, that's the so Alpha that's 7R. the 7 R. Uh, now the 7, mm -hmm. what's the difference between the 7 and the 7 R? So Alpha 7 is still full frame, uh, but it's 24.3 megapixels. These two cameras have uh, a new processor called Beyond X. Because of that, uh, you can get 5 frames per second out of this camera, 4 frames per second out of this camera with continuous AF tracking. So Kenta, does the A7 line shoot raw? Yes. Sir. It does, all right. And now as far as light sensitivity, uh, let's talk about the ISO. Sure. So natively, we support all the way from ISO 100 mm -hmm. to 25,600. Okay, and is it expandable? Yes, expandable right. down to 50 ISO. To 50, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the form factor. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit of a heftier camera, and it has the tilting screen. Yeah, which is, uh, the Sony only does this for full frame cameras, and it's really great for video shooting. What we have is a, a, a mic input but also a headphone jack so you can monitor your sound. Right. We also have an HDMI port which supports clean HDMI output. Okay. So um, if you have an external recorder, then you can record a uh, full HD video on there. Right. And uh, past the 29 minutes. Exactly, past right. the 29 minutes. Uh, natively, you can use uh, record video onto your card. You can record 1080 full HD 60p capture and selectable to 24p as well. Now the EVF on the A7, tell us about it. We're actually using the A99 EVF, mm -hmm. so it's an OLED uh, XGA. Uh, viewfinder, so very, uh, very clear. On the A99, we, you can only adjust three levels of brightness, but now you can change it all the way up to five levels of brightness. Okay, what's the battery life on this guy? Battery life is 330 shots, um, but you do have an option for uh, a grip, and this grip is really cool too. It has the ability to add in two W batteries. Oh, great. So it'll double the life, life of your battery as well. Okay, as far as NFC and Wi-Fi. We definitely have that. Both of those are gonna so. be in here. And um, that means we can remote into the camera. Correct, so okay. another cool thing that we support is Playmares camera apps. Uh, it, all the apps will not be compatible until about December timing, but what you can do right now is use smart remote control, okay. which is very popular. Why is this not an NEX? I think a lot of people are expecting yes. another NEX camera. Starting from now, we're gonna rebrand everything Alpha. Okay. Um, we're consolidating brands, so no longer will you see the word NEX. You know, we're looking at a full frame camera here. Why not the RX1? Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, RX1 is a full frame you know, camera, but it's fixed lens. Mm -hmm. So what we enable with these cameras is the capability of interchanging these lenses. So okay. you have a host of new lenses. Um, we have the 2870 kit lens. Okay. Uh, I also have here uh, a new full frame E-mount lens, a 55 F1.8 lens. All right. And also uh, this one too the 35 f2.8, also Zeiss. Okay. Um, and they're very high quality lenses, you know, matched perfectly for these cameras. And obviously, you know, using uh, adapters like the, let's see, the LAEA4, mm -hmm. or like the LAEA3, you know, you have the capability to, you know, expand, you know, and choose any kind of lenses that you have. But as well, um, I also have a 7200G Mark II lens that wow. we're announcing from the A-mount. So it's not like we're abandoning, you know, A-mount. Got we're, it, or the DSLR yeah, crew. Exactly, we're uh, strengthening both at the same time. Okay, so let's talk availability. Sure. Um, most of these uh, cameras and lenses will be available in December. All right, and price points? Price points, yes. So. I have the Alpha 7R. Okay. Um, body only mm -hmm. is going to be uh, $22.99. Okay. Alpha 7 right here, with the kit lens, it's going to be $19.99. With the lens? Yes. Okay. And body what only, about body only? Body only is $16.99. All right. And how about the lenses? Yes, lenses. Um, the 35 f2.8, mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be $7.99. Mm -hmm. 
and the 55 F18 uh, is going to be about $1,000. And then the 2470 is going to be at $1,199. All right. All right, Kenta, as always, it was great to have you here. And if you guys have any other questions, you can check out youtube.com slash signal.